Hi everyone, I'm Matt Deva from D4 Recording Studio and welcome to another episode of Mixing in the Box. Now, this episode is a little off topic, but soldering is something that I get asked about all the time and it's definitely a great skill for anyone with a studio to have. I'll show you how to solder a tip ring sleeve jack as quick as I can, so the quality of the job might not be great, but I'm really just trying to show the process. Now we're going to need a soldering iron, some solder, cutters, connectors, cable, and this is a really handy clamp that I've made up with some needle nose pliers and some elastic around the handle. So the first thing we need to do is to strip around a centimetre of the insulation off the end of the cable. Just try not to go too deep or you could cut through the shield or the inner cores. Now most cables going to have some cotton or something inside to give it strength lengthways, so we'll just unravel everything and remove the cotton. Now I just want the red and the white core to be a little bit shorter and I'll strip a couple of millimetres of the insulation off both of these. I'm also going to trim the shield and we always want the shield to be a little bit shorter than the inner cores and that's so once it's soldered together any pressure that's on the cable is going to go to the shield rather than the cores. Now we want to put a small dab of solder onto each of the conductors and what we want to do here really is to heat the copper until the solder flows onto it by itself but don't apply too much heat or you can melt the insulation. Now that we've got our cable ready let's pull apart the jack and inside you'll find a plastic insulation tube that'll go around the solder terminals once we're done. And now we want to put a dab of solder onto each terminal of the jack and you'll see again that it really is a case of heating the metal that you want the solder to attach to and once it's hot enough the solder will flow onto the metal on its own. Always remember to put the metal sleeve and the insulation jacket onto the cable before you solder the connector on, otherwise you'll have to start all over again. Now we're ready to solder the cable to the jack, and I'll start with the shield. Move the cable into position, making sure you can get your soldering iron in. Now we want to apply some heat to the join so that the solder on the cable and also on the connector melt into each other. If you're watching in HD you'll be able to see the solder solidify when the soldering iron comes off. And once that happens it's completely strong. Now we'll do the same for both cores, so the terminal closest to us here is the tip, so it's going to be the red core. So we'll get that into position and then apply some heat to the join again. Now don't apply too much heat or the insulation can melt and the, the copper inside will show through and can short things out. Now watch this last join closely, I won't apply enough heat to it and what will happen is the solder won't be liquid for long enough to surround the joint properly. This join will definitely work but it won't be as durable as it could be. Now just squash the metal tabs to hold the cable in, replace the insulation jacket and the metal sleeve and you're all done. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you hit subscribe so you can see some product reviews and some more mixing tips that I have coming up.